Well, it's Wednesday. The rain has uh, finally stopped. I'm back on the job. I was going to be here on Friday. We had some good weather on Friday and Saturday. But we had a bit of an issue on the way to the job. This little compressor here spat a wheel bearing on the way, which was not good. And upon closer examination, it turned out that the, uh, the Golden Panda brand wheel bearing was actually a grenade in disguise. Uh, not only did it disintegrate, but it damaged the brake drum and the axle. So that's been a few days off the road. Anyway, I'll show you what I'm doing. Yeah. Alrighty, I'm back on this. I've got the water out, dewatered the holes. Don't know how dry they're going to stay. I'm going to try and use some Anfo in there. I think at least some of the holes I'll be able to. And I'll blow this up. And not sure what after that. Cheers. Alright, ready to fire. I was sure there was 20 holes drilled, but uh, could only find 19 to load. Bit of a concern, maybe one of them was below the water line that I didn't find. Alright, I'll start the slow mo and we'll fire it. First of September. Mm, all right, just popping a little rock in the road. This is above boxing level, so that's got to go. I'm afraid. Somehow we missed that earlier, but uh, we didn't miss it this time. So in a couple of days. The sun's going to shine and dry up this water, yeah. All uh, right, we've got a trench from this peg here up to that blue one up there, and also from that pink one up to that pink one up there, and go a bit beyond them. And behind that's a retention tank. Uh, these rocks are in the way, so they could be moved, and they're too big to load, so we're going to blow them up while we're at it. Just going to dig a little bit of a hole, drop them in, because that makes it a lot easier to cover. So we're going to do that now. Welcome back Earthlings. These two big bits of oversize are um, going to meet their maker. Yeah, that should fix that right up. And then uh, then it'll be those two. Seven hole shot.
Don't know what's wrong with this camera. Eight hole shot. if he's a, um, a young bearded dragon or an eastern water dragon, not quite sure. Pretty cute though. Hi, hasn't been a video for a while because we've been busy. Been busy drilling holes and loading holes and all that sort of stuff. So we've got a trench going from that peg up to there. There's another peg up there. Another parallel trench going from this peg to another peg up there and then behind that there's a big underground stormwater retention tank huge size of a swimming pool or bigger for some reason and there's a lot of rock in it so uh, drilled a heap of holes in this part as well just gonna zipper it up the center with 17 millisecond delays and um, yeah so just like a center pull opener a zipper and uh, fish boning out from there all right we'll stick some dirt on this to try and keep it quiet and not upset the neighbors too much over there and we'll see you soon 80 holes in all too 80 hole shot hold on to your hats Who's that noisy guy up there? Okay, just um, digging up yesterday's shot. I've just located the highest part of the stone, which is about a bit over a metre below ground level. Uh, the hard rock, that is. All this stuff here, that was decomposed granite. It's just been pulverised by the blast and pretty much turns back into sand. You can break it with your hand or your foot. But, um, this is the real stuff. I'll have a bit of a dig at this and see what gives.
And there we go, that was the high spot. There's lots more rock in the hole, but um, that's the only bit I just took the time to dig up now, just to prove dig and see if it's all good. So that was it, the high spot's gone from pit number seven, the retention tank number seven.
is not having a good day. Just broke a shank adapter on the drill, which is not good. Not good. Hasn't done much work at all. We replaced the worn out one two weeks ago, and the new one's just busted, and of course it's busted inside the drill rod, so that drill rod's a goner as well. All right, just starting to cover this shot. It's 60 holes. It's one of the uh, longer retention tanks. Every house on this site has a stormwater retention tank, which is like a, uh, a very large swimming pool size hole. It's only half of it, or well, a bit more than half of it, there's 60 holes. Goes right down to those pegs down there with the blue lines. Just for logistical reasons, I'm uh, only doing 60 holes. Alright. So we put the best dirt on first, nice clean topsoil, and then uh, we'll put some other soil on top in that big pile down there. Thanks for watching. Okay, this is the uh, the day's work, 60 holes, and it should go good, hopefully. Slow mo start. Start the other camera, and we'll be away. Hi, I'm operating on the digger again. Uh, Ben's not here, he's chasing parts for his drill rig. Um, just starting to dig out yesterday's shot. So far it's looking good. The uh, rock lifted up quite a bit, almost broke cover. It's come up about, uh, probably about 1200. I'd say, and that's good. Uh, I think the rule of thumb is if it if the rock heaves up about one third of the uh, drill depth, it's a good indication it's going to be easy digging. And that's about, uh, I don't know whether that was for covered or uncovered, so it's come up one third covered. Um, I reckon that's pretty good. Oh dear. Oh yeah, some big cavities down there. And uh, that's come up quite a long way, isn't it? All right, the machine's telling me I've got to get back in it. It's beeping at me. Cheers. Getting a bit of rock out, that's good. Yeah, it's unremarkable shot, but you know, lots of big pieces, but that was to be expected really. Because the uh, holes were large diameter deep holes with just a little bit in the bottom, and there's not really much I could do about that. Would have liked to put some more in, but um, risking shaking the neighbor off his foundations, and that wouldn't be good. Um, so this is going all right. It's getting close to depth, I think. This is a classic problem. We have had a, a horizontal fissure in the rock uh, and you just got a big piece on top that lifts up and goes back down again, but doesn't break. But what's under it is um, pretty messed up. So this piece on top is going to require a, another couple of holes in it to pop it. Yeah, all right, we'll have a look up the other end. Up the other side of this big piece. 
And these holes up here were deeper again. The ones up there were uh, over four meters. And uh, similar issue. We've got a horizontal fissure pre-existing in the rock. And that piece is just going up and down again. It did all lift up, you can see in the video quite clearly it, it lifts up. Um, over here looks pretty good, I might just put the ripper on and uh, get into this and see what gives. I think this will all surrender pretty easily actually. Getting a bit of rock stacked up there now. That's good. Whoops. Should watch where I'm walking. And that shows them I've been working. Pike in. All right. Momentous occasion. The pipes are starting to go in. Look at that. Okay. Next pit's about here. And they're just like slightly short of clearance. There's a regulation for the clearance apparently just short so I've got to take the edge off this forum and I'm going to take a bit more because it's just a little bit too high for the underground services <coughs> that run through here there's gas and water or something on one side and MBN and power on the other or something like that so we'll take a bit extra okay thanks for tuning in first shot for the week just 11 holes very technical method. Okay, here we are on lot number eight doing the retention tank. Again, a big pre-drilled shot, drilled through rubbish. We've lost a few holes in the process, full of mud and just, just rubbish. Uh, this is half the tank, by the way, just for logistic reasons. Yeah, stay tuned. All right, she's loaded. Managed to load 51 out of the 55 drilled holes. Well, actually, one of them has got the drill rod stuck in it, so 54 holes. Some others had caved in and were irretrievable, and that's because this ground has been previously dug up and then uh, recompacted which is uh, 
far from ideal to drill through. All right, Ben's gonna pop a little bit of cover on, just a bit extra to keep the delay clips quiet, because they make a bit of a crackle. And we'll get out the way and fire the shot, cheers. Beautiful, mate. Gotta save that drill rod. That's a very expensive drill rod, a 4.3 meter T51. And of course, it's got a brand new cutting head on the end. Always the case. So yeah, that's some um, high priority to try and dig that out with care. Sun's out, so we're loading holes again. The rain stopped, we've had a couple of days of rain, which is just, seems to be the thing lately. It's been really getting in the way of work quite a bit. So I've got 45 holes over there. Just getting ready to load them up. And this one's a 45 hole shot.
Rightio, that shot lifted up real well. So we're just going to dig it up now and have a bit of a peek and uh, see what it's like down below. Oh, I've got a pretty good idea. Yeah, we're going to see lots of really, really smashed up decomposed granite from underneath there. It's broken. to dust deck absolutely naked it look how destroyed it is I think we might have overloaded it a bit Zachy Yes, that's what happens to this stuff when you hit it hard, it just turns to dust. You pick it up with a vacuum cleaner sometimes. Morning, it's Monday morning. I'm with Paul this morning and Ben's also here and we've got another shot coming up. Got a 45 hole shot here, I've already pulled the witch's hats out so the holes aren't obviously all that clear. And that's the second half of this retention tank. There's the other bit down there. Deep, isn't it? Unbelievable. So we're going to load this up and fire this today. We'll be putting a good bit of cover over the top. And I'll just go and see this guy. Hang on a minute. Ben's starting to cover the shot. Paul's supervising. Just putting some lovely soft topsoil on first to protect the shock tubes. And then we're going to cover with some uh, other soil, heavier stuff. Just going to keep it quiet, try and keep it all in place, so I expect it will raise up a bit. But that's what we want, makes it easy to dig. So this will be completing the third of uh, about eight or nine tanks we've got to do quite a job. All that rock there come out of the first half. This is the second half. Another day, another shot. Retention tank on lot five. Half of it. 56 holes on a seven by eight pattern. And uh, a lot of hard ground in there. Some hard rock, some just decomposed rubbish. Who ever thought of this? Sewer guys are getting their pipes in pretty good. Stay tuned. Alright, it's a 56 hole shot. Ben's just preparing the drilling surface for the next part of this shot, which is the second half of the tank on lot 5. 
All this rock here has come out of the tank for lot six, believe it or not. That's a lot. I hate to think what the site cut's going to be here. It's going to be very interesting.